What else? He's cute, but he's not really what you'd call hot, you know? In this game, you're going to find several items that will come in very handy. These items will appear as icons in the mat above the screen on the left. An icon that looks like a coin purse will also appear in the upper left of your screen. It's going to come in very handy, too. If you're playing as a junior detective, you'll be able to get hints from a fortune teller machine. However, you're going to have to pay for them. But don't worry, earning the tokens you need to get hints is going to be all fun and games. Just remember, guys don't mature until they're really old, like 30. Does this look gross or what? And then she goes, she goes, oh, come on, you're just saying that. And I go, no, it's totally true. And then she goes, she goes, well, I think you're lying. So I go, I go, no, this is what I do when I'm lying. And you know that bookshelf of hers with all her cutesy little mementos and pictures of her dogs and cats and baby brothers and stuff? I dumped it over. No way, she said that. So what did you do? No way! Oh my gosh, ever since seventh grade, I have so wanted to do that. Guess what my dad just sent me? An advanced copy of Charlena Purcell's latest novel. Sorry, I'm not supposed to pass it around. Two months. I'll make your bed every day and fold your laundry for a month. Dude, I love Charlene Purcell. Like, Wind Through My Heart was the best book ever. You gotta let me read it. Deal. So who do you think you'll ask to the winter ball? You are really annoying when you do that. Whom do I think I'll ask to the winter ball? I can't help it. I had Miss Hatfield for grammar analysis. Whenever anybody mix up who and whom, she totally freak. No, forget it. I'm not letting you borrow anything else of mine, ever. You said the exact same thing about my locket. All I know is the last time you borrowed something of mine, I never saw it again. But those shoes match the dress I want to wear perfectly. I didn't lose your locket. Casper took it. He's always taking stuff like that. But we're talking shoes here. No stupid mutant squirrel is going to run off with a pair of size 8 stilettos, right? Terry told me that Kia told her that Rachel flunked that test on purpose. Hey, why would a valedictorian candidate flunk a test, period? Come on, why would a valedictorian candidate flunk a test on purpose? Because Rachel is mental, that's why. So, are Molly and Pierce together or not? So, if they're not your page official, maybe I'll ask Pierce to the winter ball. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I thought they were, but nothing's up on your page yet. Molly could run you over. Are you kidding? If Leela hadn't been playing, we wouldn't have scored any points. 17 baskets, 9 assists, 11 free throws, and 4 block shots? Uh, actually, she pretty much was. But it's not like she's the only one who scored. Hey, did you hear? Deirdre's boyfriend got kicked out of Oxborough. I don't know, Deirdre wouldn't tell me. <gasps> Why? What did he do? Maybe it had something to do with her. You lost your ID again? You lost your ID on purpose? Dude, they're gonna bill your parents 50 bucks. Didn't you see how lame my picture was? I had to get a new one. So what if I did? Oops. No, really, she hates me. I can see it in her eyes whenever I ask her a question. Why do they let her teach here? That's what I can't figure out. Are you kidding? I'm so scared of her, I'm practically acing it. Sick. How are you doing in her class? Maybe that's why they let her teach here? I have got such a crush on Mr. Harris, I can't stand it. Not every girl. You and every other girl at Waverly. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Just the ones who take calculus. I found out what Mr. Harris's favorite color is. Green. At least I have green eyes. A lot of good knowing that does us. Stupid uniforms. No, you don't. They're hazel. And then she goes, she goes, oh, come on, you're just saying that. And I go, no, it's totally true. And then she goes, she goes, well, I think you're lying. So I go, I go, no, this is what I do when I'm lying. And you know that bookshelf of hers with all her cutesy little mementos and pictures of her dogs and cats and baby brothers and stuff? I dumped it over. 
No way, she said that. So what did you do? No way, oh my gosh, ever since seventh grade, I have so wanted to do that. I bet this black cat person is actually a faculty member. Or Mr. Winston, he's so creepy. I can totally see him sneaking around in a girl's dorm after hours. You mean like Mrs. Deckman? Word. I just heard Mr. Harris is getting engaged over the holidays. Eventually. That's why you're bummed. Come on, what do you think? You were gonna marry him? You are so lame. I like your earrings. She talked to you? Wow, she never says anything to me. Thanks, know who else likes him? Izzy. Out of the blue, as I was walking by her in the hall. He hasn't texted you at all? Has he emailed you? Called you? Written you? Eat up, girlfriend. You've been dumped. Not since Monday. No. No. Maybe he got hit by a truck or something. And the next thing I knew, Mr. Harris was calling me up to his desk. Oh my gosh, I love when that happens. It lets you get a really, really good whiff of his aftershave. I just heard that Ms. Lambert asked Mr. Harris out for coffee. And I just heard he turned her down. You did not. Nobody's ever touched Casper. Yeah, well, squirrels carry diseases and stuff. I hope you washed your hands. Yes, I did, just now. I fed him a peanut and he let me pet him for like three whole seconds. Um, I'll be right back. You know, I hate to admit it, but I really like calculus. No, I do. I love going to that class. No, you don't. Everybody does. Mr. Harris is like the best looking teacher in the whole universe. I'm thinking of asking Ben Sturgis to the winter ball. No, I heard she's gonna break up with him. You can't. He's dating Heather after the ball. Apparently, he's an awesome dancer. Mm -mm. In preparation for our landing, please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Thank you. <gasps> he likes me? He actually said that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what else did he say? Well, if she doesn't want him, I'll take him. I think he's a doll. Let me out! Hey! This isn't funny! Let me out! Let me out! Don't you just love the way Mr. Harris says cosine? Rachel Hubbard. She's in the room at the end of the hall. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You're gonna get in trouble. Paige will see you, I guarantee it. Congratulations. Just don't go all Danielle on me, okay? Stay away from closets. Ooh, you're in for it. Afraid not. Sure. I don't think so. Not a problem. Sure don't. You got me. Sure isn't. Yes. No. Hey, you're the new person. Uh, Becca something. Becca Sawyer. I'm Corrine, the person who stuck rooming with you. <laughs> I mean, you're the person who stuck rooming with me. <laughs> anyway, welcome to my, your, uh, our humble dwelling space. Hi. Hey, how come I couldn't find anything about you online, like on your page? You finished those ortho views for me? So, where's my sandwich and stuff? Yay! You've got my snack. Well, good morning. About time you got up. So you finally decided to rise and shine. What are you doing? Go meet people. Go. What's up, Rumi? Busy? That's the understatement of the year. I've got four days to finish a 30-page research paper that has to be fully annotated, utilizing a bibliography that has to include at least six published, no online stuff, published sources. Any normal student would hate having you barge in like this. I've got four days to finish a 30-page research paper that has to be fully annotated, utilizing a bibliography that has to include at least six published, no online stuff, published sources. Any normal student would hate having you bug them like this. But then, I'm not all that normal, so you can bug me all you want. Not that you're bugging me. Well, you are, technically, but you're not really because I'm so... Never mind. Not at all. The roommate I used to have, Danielle, she and I got along great. She had kind of a bad experience. Got locked in a pitch-black closet overnight. See, she was claustrophobic, so when they found her the next morning, she could barely talk. And when I came back from class that afternoon, she just... left. No note, no call, no text, nothing. I should probably tell you that one. Used to be Danielle's, my old roommate. Some of the kids on this floor have been getting these, like, threatening notes from someone calling herself the Black Cat. 
Well, the first note's a warning, but if you get a second one, something really bad happens to you. And last week, the girl in the room next door, Megan Vargas, she got a second note, and that night she ate something at dinner she was allergic to and had such a bad reaction that she had to go home. Somebody's obviously playing a prank, but a lot of kids are starting to get really freaked out. <laughs> anyway, now that you're here, and last week, the girl in the room next door, Megan Vargas, she got a second note, and that night she ate something at dinner she was allergic to and had such a bad reaction that she had to go home. Somebody's obviously playing a prank, but a lot of kids are starting to get really freaked out. <laughs> oh, yeah, you bet. Let's see. First thing you gotta do is read the Waverly Student Guide, which is online. If you don't have a laptop, it doesn't look like you do. That one little bag is all you brought? Anyway, you can get online by jumping on the computer in the library. Just make sure you read the part in the guide about Waverly's demerit system really well. It's enforced by Paige. Believe me, you do not want to mess with her. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, this floor is special because only seniors who are viable candidates for valedictorian live up here. Whoever's named valedictorian gets a full-ride scholarship to the university of her choice, so it's a pretty big deal. Of course, the only truly viable candidate is me. Oh, and I should probably tell you about the curse. Whatever. It's not going to work on me. I hadn't really thought of it that way, but yeah, I guess that's right. Maybe somebody's jealous of us smart kids or something. Or maybe it's one of us. Maybe someone's trying to scare off her competition. Yeah, I got one about three days ago. On the floor over there. Somebody slipped it under the door during the night. Sorry, I took one look at it and tore it up. But if you'd like to see the note my ex-roommate got, that one's right here. She had kind of a bad experience. Got locked in a pitch black closet overnight. See, she was claustrophobic, so when they found her the next morning, she could barely talk. And when I came back from class that afternoon, she just left. No note, no call, no text, nothing. Just gone. She tried to laugh it off, but I think she was scared. She was pretty neurotic. There wasn't a second note. Or at least, if there was, she never said anything about it to me. Next door, that's Mel Corbelis. Depends on her mood. When she's really, really down, I'll bet if they didn't give demerits for making noise after hours, she'd play that thing 24-7. I'm not sure. Her roommate did, though. She's the one who got so sick she had to go home. Well, yeah. It's the 21st century. Soon as you meet somebody, that's what you do. And, well, yeah. I mean, anyone under the age of, like, 30 who doesn't have something up on your page either A, has been living on Mars, or B, is seriously weird. And since it doesn't look like either of those applies to you, what gives? Well, do you have a boyfriend? Well, who is he? Where does he live? Come on, you can tell me stuff. I'm your roommate. Yeah, okay, whatever. So what do you want to talk about? Yeah, I think that's why we're friends. She did say I was her friend, right? Oh, sorry, that was dumb. <laughs> there we go, sounding all insecure and loserish again. As if. I earned my way into this place. I was accepted because I was the most deserving applicant, like, ever. Those are my words, not the school's, of course. But it's still true. If anything, I dislike her more. That girl never, ever passes up a chance to do or say something cruel to me. She just does it because she's jealous, of course, but it's still... Well, it's still annoying. Mel comes from a long line of Waverly graduates, which makes her a legacy. All legacies have to do is apply to get in here, and bingo, they get accepted. So her mother pretty much forced her to go. Mel has yet to get over it. Mel told me once that when she was little, she used to be really good friends with Waverly's current superstar athlete, Leela Yadif, which is hard to believe because Mel and Leela totally ignore each other now. Something must have happened, but I can't figure out what. Mel says they just gradually drifted apart, but... Like everyone else around here, sometimes Mel lies. That would be Isabella Romero, Izzy for short. Queen Izzy. I can just see her acting all warm and fuzzy while she sizes you up, trying to decide if the new girl is worthy of becoming one of her subjects. Really? Well, congratulations. You must have made the grade. I sure never have. She's usually in the gym, either bouncing, kicking, hitting, or throwing some kind of ball. You name a sport, she's great at it. And competitive? That girl loves to win, and almost always does. Probably. I mean, I can't prove it, but come on, a jock up for valedictorian? No way! Something's hinky somewhere. And, speaking of hinky, she started wrapping her wrist about a week ago, but is it actually hurt? Debatable! Well, she's here on a scholarship, so it's real hard for me to believe she's smart enough to, one, secretly be the black cat, and two, divert suspicion by faking an injury and making herself look like a victim of the black cat. But I have to admit, it is possible. Better you than me. Let's just say she's not one of my favorite people. She's kind of flaky. Like last month, she flunked a test that took her out of the running for valedictorian. Technically, she shouldn't even be on this floor anymore. 
<sighs> Whip out your camera and let's get it over with. Cheese, could you speed it up a little? Yoo-hoo! I'm waiting. My face is getting a little sore over here. Becca, what are you doing? Cheese. Oh my gosh, was that not too cool? Me just sitting there chilling with my BFF Izzy Romero. How awesome can you get? What, the picture? Of course it was real. All this black cat stuff has brought her and me closer together. It, it's united us against a common enemy. Nope. It wasn't me, if that's what you're really asking. Am I angry the whole school thinks we're suddenly best buds? Of course not. Sure, Izzy might feel a little annoyed by all this attention, but if she does, tough. Welcome to my world, Queenie. You can get it from me. How bad do you want it? Okay, here's the deal. I'll give you the key to the cabinet if you can finish these orthographic views for me. Just figure out which views go with which object. Each object has a front, top, and side view. Those are examples in case you need them. Bring them back when you're done. Anything else? Looks great. Thanks. Here's the key to the cabinet. Whatever books you take out, be sure to put them back when you're done. They're too old and fragile to carry around. And leave the key in the lock. I'll grab it later. Okay, let's see what we've got. Sorry, you need to check the front view of this one. Front view's wrong. Try again. Something's wonky with the front view. Front view's got a problem. Side view's not right. Do-overs. There's a problem with the side view. Side view? Doesn't cut it. Try again. Take a closer look at the side view. The top-down view looks wrong. Your top view needs work. Check out the top view. Something's wrong. Top view's not right. Sorry. Oh yeah, Rachel mentioned that. I didn't think my paper was that great, but for some reason the entire faculty went totally gaga over it. <laughs> I'll copy it onto a flash drive for you. But while I do that, could you do me a favor? I'm absolutely starving. And since you're snack shop boss, how about getting me a toasted bagel with cheese, an apple, some juice, and a candy bar, okay? Soon as you do, I'll give you the essay. Excellent. Thank you. Mmm, that is so good. Here, keep it as long as you want. The essay is the only thing on there. Leela is Izzy's roommate. She's probably in the rec room. Somebody must have wanted that book and not wanted anyone to know they wanted it. That's all I can figure. Before. Right before, in fact. I see what you're getting at. It was called The Black Cat, wasn't it? That's kind of freaky. Nah, I don't do barrettes. Why? Are you an Edgar Allan Poe fan? You and me both. Unfortunately, I don't have a clue who has it. Yeah, I guess you'd better. I'm not so bad, right? Hasta whatever. Later. Enjoy. Suit yourself. It's just that... Well, you're about to find out that I'm not exactly the most... <sighs> Never mind. You'll see soon enough. What? Yes? Something else? Come on, Mel. It's too long a story. I need to go. I'll explain later. Now let me past. What are you doing here? By Edgar Allan Poe. Never published. He told her where it was when he was on his deathbed. When he died, she took it and ran off so Rufus Griswold wouldn't end up with it. At least I think that's what happened. When I do research, I do research. Although truth be told, all I knew with relative certainty is that she'd hidden something in this building. I wasn't sure where. I'm not the black cat. I didn't leave those notes. You're pretty smart. The question is, are you smart enough to live to tell the tale? I don't think so. What is up with her hair, anyway? It's supposed to snow pretty soon. Blizzard-type snow. Hi, this is Beth. I'm a little busy right now, but leave your name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay? Okay. Whoa, watch it. Oh, your hair's on fire. No wonder you're in a hurry. Just kidding. Red hair looks really good on some people. I'm Izzy Romero. Where are you from? Shueta Lor. Let me have your cell phone. Yeah, so I can set you up on the local network. It'll just take a second. This way, you'll be able to get texted and keep up on all the breaking news. There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. My hair's on fire? I'm Becca Sawyer. I just transferred here. From the States originally, but I came here by way of France. It's a long story. My cell phone? Okay. You must be the girl who came all the way from France with just the clothes on her back? Becca something? It's only fair to warn you. I'm not in a very good mood right now. Hey, what's going on? I'm Leela Yadav. 
Welcome to Waverly. I'm working on two papers, actually, but they're both under control, so I'm taking a break. I took a really freak fall and sprained it. I'm supposed to rest it for at least a week. That's why I'm in here instead of the gym shooting baskets. Playing the games in here keeps my reflexes sharp. People think I'm just saying that, but it's true. In fact, let's play air hockey. Come on, by helping me stay in shape, you'll be helping out your new school. You want to get off on the right foot here, don't ya? That's too bad. Both. But mostly too bad you're being subjected to Rachel on your very first day. She's got this bizarre schizoid thing going. She'll say something one day, then deny it the next, or she'll do something, then claim she didn't. She's actually kind of scary. You'll see. For good reason. Yeah, well, wait till you get to know her. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if she's the black cat. You heard about the black cat, right? In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if she's the black cat. See, Rachel flunked a test a couple weeks ago, which means she can't be valedictorian. So maybe, in some twisted way, she thinks we're to blame and she's using this black cat stuff to freak us all out. Well, my falling like that was really weird. I mean, ordinarily, I'm real coordinated. But I think it was just bad luck. Happens to everybody. I mean, look at you, being subjected to Rachel on your very first day. Not that it's working. On me, at least. I've won state championships in both soccer and basketball. No way am I gonna let a couple of stupid notes get to me. No problem. Fire when ready. Go right ahead. Fire away. I said fire when ready. Is there a problem? You okay over there? I'm waiting. Yeah, I've got a picture of her you could use. And if you beat me at a game of air hockey, I'll go get it for you. Excellent. That's the spirit. Yes. Okay. First, pick your mallet. Then, after the game starts, hit the puck with your mallet and try to get it into the goal at my end. And when I hit the puck towards your goal, use your mallet to block it, if you can. You can only use your mallet on your half of the table. First person to score seven goals wins. Got it? Then let's get it on. That's right. You want to play or not? Whatever. Guess I owe you Megan's picture. Next time I go upstairs, I'll get it for you. Sure. Next time I go upstairs, I'll get it for you. There's the menu. Want to play again? Need anything else? Sorry, haven't gone back to my room yet. I've got it right here, but the only way you're going to get it from me is by beating me at Scram. What do you say? Okay, each game has two rounds. You play one round as the blocker and the other round as the scorer, and you take turns throwing the darts. First, the blocker throws three darts, then the scorer throws three darts, and so on. Now, the object of the game is for the blocker to end the round by landing a dart in any section of all 20 numbers, while the object of the game for the scorer is, naturally, to accumulate as many points as possible before the round ends. That's right, once all the numbers are blocked, the roles are reversed, and you play another round. After two rounds, whoever has accumulated the most points wins. Just like in regular darts, the harder the section of any number is to hit, the more points you get. So, you ready? Here's the photo of Megan you wanted. That's right, athletic. Full ride. Although I have to maintain a pretty high grade point average in order to keep it. Luckily for me, that's not a problem. It'd be okay with the school, but it sure wouldn't be okay with me. No matter what I'm competing in, I always play to win. The nice thing is, I usually do. They'd probably pull my scholarship, so not only would I not be valedictorian, I wouldn't even be able to graduate, which would really shoot holes in my future. So if I get injured again and I find out it's this black cat person's fault, believe me, she's going to wind up injured too. You bet. You're on. We get along. We're roommates mostly because we're both valedictorian candidates and that's just the way the room assignments worked out. Sure I do. I mean, with Izzy, what you see is what you get. I like her fine. She's smart. She's pretty. She's popular. She's always got a boyfriend. That's Izzy. What more is there to know? What's not to like? I sure don't have it. Mel, our resident goth girl, she probably does. That freak's probably working on a way to bring him back from the dead so he can autograph it. That was a long time ago. Before she got all down on sports and into whatever it is that makes her think being weird is cool. I mean, she's not a bad person, but we just don't get each other anymore, that's all. Not if I can help it. She's just a pain. She tries so hard to fit in that it turns people off. Most people, at least. Mel Corbelis and her are friends. No big surprise. After all, weirdos of a feather flock together. Of course because of Izzy and my boyfriend. How could she do it? Did she think I wouldn't mind if she started dating Jacob? Did she think I wouldn't find out?
My gosh, it's all over school. I'm not stupid. I could tell he was on her radar. The way she'd look at him and flirt her brains out with him. Jacob's just like any other guy, and let's face it, guys are basically sheep. The minute somebody says, hey, the grass is greener over here, boom, they're gone. I just never figured she'd actually make a move on him while he was still dating me. I mean, who does that to their own roommate? No. And you know what? I don't think I will. Want to hear the text I just got from Jacob? It's true. Sorry. End of message. Misunderstanding? I don't think so. But you know what I'm going to say to Izzy when I finally calm down enough to face her? Nothing. I'm just going to act like nothing's wrong. If she's got the guts to bring up the subject, fine. But I'm not going to say a word. I'm going to let her wonder just how and when I'm going to get back at her. Because I will definitely get back at her. In the meantime, I'm just going to shake it off and get back in the game. What's up, girl? Yeah, in fact, I got it right here. I needed it for this lame nutrition paper I had to write. I keep forgetting to put it back. But before I give it to you, air hockey or scram, you get to pick. Heck no, I've never worn a barrette in my life. What else do you want to know? Jacob? You're kidding me. Wow, Izzy's already got him doing her dirty work. That sure didn't take long. Like that means anything. Far as I know, they've never even met. No, he did it for Izzy. The two of them have probably been sneaking around behind my back for months. Okie dokie. Bye. Hang in there. Hit him hard. That's all right. I'm kind of waiting for my boyfriend to call. He goes to Oxborough? That's the boys' school just down the road. Talking to you helped kill the time. I'll see ya. I guess so. I don't think so. Sure. No way. Maybe. Yes. No. That was fast. Weren't you just here? Back so soon? You beat me. Nice job. And the winner is you. Congrats. You win. Kudos. Nuts, you beat me. I won. Naturally. And the winner is moi. I win. You lose. Beat you. She shoots. She scores. Point for me. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Goal. Come back in the morning. Go away and let me sleep. We're trying to sleep in here. Yes. Oh, yeah. Nailed it. Gosh, I'm good. Nuts. Blew that. Darn it. Missed. Sure. Hi. Hey, you got everyone's picture uploaded. You've got my math notebook. Fab, I'll take that. Hey, Becca, thanks for uploading that essay. I need you to upload that essay, okay? Find out something? Hey, Becca, thanks for uploading that essay. You'll be happy to know that that's it. No more grunt work. You're free. I mean, except for that other thing you said you'd help with. Let me... us. No, as soon as you find out anything, okay? You're here to take my picture over, aren't you? Sorry, I totally blanked on your name. You get all the pictures uploaded? Oh, right. Let's do it. Go ahead. Ready when you are. Remember, come back when you've got them all uploaded. So what's the holdup? Remember, come back when you've got them all uploaded. You've got my math notebook. Fab. I'll take that. I got things to do, Becca. Could we please get this over with? Fab, listen, be sure to let me know when you get all the pictures uploaded, okay? I can't remember. Did I tell you not to bother with Danielle Hayes' picture? Sorry, my mind is going, all this paper writing, which I kind of need to get back to. Sorry, my mind is going, all this paper writing. You've got my math notebook. Fab, I'll take that. She got locked in a closet and freaked out or something. I think she just couldn't take the pressure anymore. Being a valedictorian candidate is tough. I'm almost glad I flunked that stupid test. I told you about that, right? I mean, technically, I'm not completely out of the running, hence the picture you just took, but the prognosis is pretty dismal. I heard she got a note. Maybe that was the last straw. My head just wasn't in the right place or something. I don't know. Look, I kind of need to get back to work, so I'll see you later, okay? Try calling her. Maybe she can email you one. Or try her roommate, Mel. Maybe she has a picture of her. Fab, now I need you to lay out the web page. Just get back on the computer, log in, and click on the Meet the Candidates link again. 
it'll take you to a description of exactly where I want everything to go. I'll check the page when you're done to make sure everything's kosher. If anything's in the wrong place, I'll leave you a message describing what needs to be fixed. You can't. That would be cheating. This is my project. It's got to be done my way. Report back to me, because I'll probably have something else for you to do. In case I forgot to say it before, I'm really grateful for your help. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Right. Nothing. She's one of the few girls around here I actually kind of like. You misunderstood. I meant I didn't have time to deal with her, because of these stupid papers I have to write. Math? Science is more my thing. Well, actually, I like them both, so I kind of go back and forth. Anyway, the book's all yours. Go ahead and take it. I gotta get back to work here. I'll see you later. What note? I, I didn't send it. We didn't send it. The first one, yes, but that was it. If you got another note, it must be from the real black cat. Look, I don't have any more assignments for you, so thanks for all your help. Look, I'm real busy here, so I'll see you around. Better take a look at the comments I left for you on the web page. You're gonna have to do something over. Check out my online comments. You're not finished yet. The comments I left online will tell you why. No! We just make the notes and deliver them to whomever the real black cat tells us to. If she tells, they're gonna kick us out anyway, Rachel. She may as well know everything. Maybe she'll even help us. Right. We have no idea who's sending them. A stalemate. Yes! But we're not hurting anyone. I mean, it's not like anyone else was going to use this room or eat these leftovers. Our mother's dead, and our father was clueless when it came to raising two girls by himself. We were afraid that unless we somehow went off to boarding school, we'd wind up in foster homes. And we've only got one more semester. Just one. We're so close. Please don't tell, Becca. Please. Actually, you're not. Someone else found out and blackmailed us into leaving those black cat notes for other people. Come in. Yo, who's there? Enter. Come back in the morning. Just leave. I'm sleeping. Becca, what are you doing? I'm telling. I guess so. I don't think so. Sure. No way. Maybe. Yes. No. Bonjour. Unfortunately, that and Chouette Laura are all the French I know. Hey, my condolences on your roommate assignment. You know, it might not be too late to get it changed. Finished with that DNA model? Hey, I'm a little busy right now, okay? That favor you owe me? You can return it right now by finding out what happened to my term paper. It's not on my computer anymore! Find out what happened to my paper? Ready to tell me what happened to my paper? What? How's it going? Nobody likes Corrine. Because she's... Corrine. And Corrine is just not cool. Nope. Nobody who's worth being friends with, anyway. But look, don't worry. Everyone knows rooming with Corrine wasn't your idea. As long as you don't hang out with her, nobody's gonna hold it against you. My roommate's Leela Yadev, athletic superstar and savior of Waverly's athletic program. We actually get along fine. Probably because we're pretty much equals. Everyone knows who she is, and everyone knows who I am. A word to the wise. Avoid hanging out with your roommate as much as possible. Hey, this is the real world. It's important no matter where you are. Now I'm lucky. Hey, this is the real world. It's important no matter where you are. Rachel roped you into helping her, huh? Lucky you. Your first day and you get to spend it with every loser in our class. Ready for my close-up, darling. I said I'm ready. Let's go, Becca. Can we do this, please? Just crush the button already! Fine with me. She's no one's favorite people. Even Corrine doesn't like her. She has no business being here, either socially or academically, and she knows it. She makes no effort to fit in because she knows she never will. <laughs> Gotta give her that much. That's right. Unfortunately, I need to finish this DNA model before I can give it to you. Too bad, huh? Sure, you bet! Excellent idea! Okay, here's what you need to do. You just have to make sure adenine is always paired with thymine and cytosine is always paired with guanine. And make sure each pair is connected to a sugar on the alternating sugar phosphate side. Just jump in. You'll figure it out. When you're done, bring it back, and if you get it right, I'll tell you the password. What else is going on? Awesome! Okay, your password is WAC35NE136. Nope, this isn't right. Sorry, something's out of place. Afraid you made a boo-boo. All that edgy, free-spirit, deep-thinking stuff is just an act. She knows she can't cut it here, so she's making it look like she doesn't care. 
Everybody cares what other people think. In fact, if they don't, they're psychopaths. I just learned that in AP Psych. Book smart, maybe. People smart, complete zero. If her mother hadn't gone here, they wouldn't have allowed her within 50 miles of this place. In fact, I think she's a borderline psychopath. Everyone on the Valcan floor has. The valedictorian candidate floor. Our floor. I think they're just a stupid distraction, and the person sending them should be expelled. Not that who that person is is any great mystery. Not as far as I know. Although... Well, don't tell anyone I told you this, but... Supposedly, there was a teacher here once, a long time ago, that none of the students liked. They were always playing tricks on her, scaring her and stuff, until one day one of their pranks gave her a heart attack, and she died. Her black cat went running off into the woods during the funeral and never came back. But for years after that, people would spot it lurking in the shadows, and whenever they did, something bad would happen. They said it was the teacher, Miss Hallowell, coming back as her cat to get revenge. Somebody around here is obviously trying to get some mileage out of a silly ghost story. One the headmistress is trying desperately to squelch, by the way. So remember, you didn't hear it from me. It's Mel. See, she's a little psycho. Like I said, she's a little psycho. And black cats, strange mishaps, it all fits in with that inane goth thing she's got going. I mean, who else could it be? Chance has nothing to do with it. I deserve to be valedictorian, therefore I'm going to be valedictorian. It's not just a matter of getting the highest grades. The faculty also looks at extracurricular activities, leadership, community service, school spirit, things I totally excel at. Absolutely not. Look, I'm going to be valedictorian, and then I'm going to Harvard. The guy asked me to Oxbro's holiday bash, and I said yes. Big whoop. It's a free country. He can date whomever he wants. Not as far as I was concerned. I used to date someone Megan used to date, yeah. Look, I don't steal boyfriends, okay? I don't have to. Guys are just naturally attracted to me. I know how conceited that sounds, but it's the truth. Leela had her chance with this guy. She couldn't cut it, so now he's into me. She's just going to have to deal with it. Yep, but I'm pretty sure I know who sent it. This one, at least. Leela. She's trying to get even with me for stealing her boyfriend. No, I'm pretty sure the note I got was from Leela. It was a lame attempt to get even with me for stealing her stupid boyfriend. Who cares? The black cat can send me as many notes as she wants. They're just words on paper. Sorry, I did the same thing to it that I did to the first note. Burned it. Well, enjoy the sweet taste of victory while you can, because you won't be on top for long. Winning is something I'm real good at. There was no picture of me and Corrine. Somebody obviously used a computer and pasted a couple photos together. Are you kidding? Never! Never, ever, ever! Either Mel or Leela. They both resent me. Heck, maybe it was both of them. Either Mel or Leela. They both resent me. And they're both experts at doing underhanded things. Mel and her plagiarism. Leela throwing elbows whenever the ref's not looking. Heck, maybe it was both of them. Anyway, I gotta do some damage control, so leave, okay? The sooner I figure out where the pictures used in that composite came from, the sooner I can salvage my reputation. I'll see ya. I'm not surprised. I always figured she was a bit of a psychopath anyway. They're habitual liars. I just learned that in AP Psych. Like I said, she's psycho. She wouldn't think twice about doing something like that. You mean Jacob framed her? Yeah, right. More likely, Mel did something to make it look like she was framed. Maybe she's trying to frame Jacob. And let's not forget one other thing. Yeah, but don't forget. Until very, very recently, Jacob was Leela's boyfriend. You want to point fingers? Maybe you should start with my roommate. All right, who blabbed? What's in it for me? Maybe I don't care. Dude, I sure hope you don't intend to go into politics, because you'd stink at it. I'll say it once, and that's all. Three is fine, but five is more. Even nineteen defeats four. Should just seven become lore, at least two will find the door. You owe me big. I have no idea. It's been passed down verbatim since the school and the society was founded. That's absolutely all I know about it. I got a text telling me to go to a certain spot, and when I did, there was the blue cloak, along with a note saying I was to choose seven new members and in the spring a new leader. Everything is secret. Like the chant? Everything is secret. Like that cloak? Everyone takes a vow of secrecy. Everyone thinks if they break it, they'll be cursed or something. No harm in hedging your bets. And since you're in on the secret now, too, you should probably do the same. Well, now that that conversation's over, 
forever. When I got back from breakfast, I turned my computer on, and nothing was there. It's like my whole hard drive's been erased. No, it would have been like printing out a book. Four weeks of research and writing are just gone. I'm going to have to start all over and turn it in late, which means no A for the course and no... Somebody deliberately did this to me, and I want to know who, so you find out. Until you do, just leave me alone. Then we've got nothing to say to each other. So tell me, then we've got nothing to talk about. Too bad. It's not mine, but I know whose it probably is. Little Miss I'm so goth, I'm cool. Mel. Uh, no. No offense, but some of the questions you ask are kind of strange. Oh yeah? You like it? Gotta keep my name out there, you know. And my face. I mean, it's doubtful some rich, powerful person is gonna be checking out Waverly's website, but you never know. Pop in anytime. See ya. No prob. Adios. Sorry, I'm busy. Can't talk now. Later, okay? No time. Sorry. Go away. Later. I'm busy. That's done. Did that. Check. All I said was she should try using brown mascara instead of black, and she totally wigged out. She's going out with him? I mean, his B.O. is like a weapon of mass destruction. This could be my scariest case yet. And to make sure no one sees or hears anything that could give me away, the headmistress has forbidden me to contact her, which means I'm about to be tossed, totally on my own, into a world of bright, privileged, click-conscious teenage girls. I have to use a fake name instead of my real one because if any of my soon-to-be classmates plug the name Nancy Drew into an online search engine, my cover would be blown in an instant. And so, pretending to be a transfer student named Becca Sawyer, I'm going to go undercover at the upstate New York boarding school and hopefully find the culprit. So malicious was the last accident, the parents of its victim are threatening to sue the school if the perpetrator isn't identified. Fast and causing the strange accidents that always follow them. The headmistress at the Waverly Academy for Girls has asked me, begged me actually, to discover who's been leaving mysterious notes for students there. And you know, I have the feeling Rita Hollowell, and maybe even her idol Mr. Poe, who was pretty darn good at making fiction seem like fact himself, would have very much agreed. They contended that the audacious fraud Rachel and Kim had perpetrated stemmed from their determination to get a good education, and hence should be rewarded, not punished. But when some of Waverly's more influential alumni heard what had happened, they insisted the twins be unexpelled and even paid their tuition and board for the rest of the year. Anyway, as for Rachel and Kim, Kareen made sure they got expelled too. Now, with Kareen out of the picture, the valedictorian contest has turned into an academic knockdown dragout between Izzy, Leela, Mel, and Megan. Which is a good thing. Not pretty, but good. But some good did result from all this. For one thing, Megan's parents dropped their threatened lawsuit and allowed her to return to school. Fully recovered from her allergic reaction, she threw herself into her studies with a vengeance, which is kind of too bad. She would no doubt have graduated at the top of her class if her greed, guile, and subconscious desire to retaliate against her classmates hadn't gotten the best of her. But thanks to me and to Mel, who wouldn't even let me out of her room until I told her everything, Corrine got the blame and was promptly expelled. And, having stumbled upon Rachel and Kim's secret months before, she blackmailed them into writing and delivering the notes for her, so that, if anything went wrong, they would take the blame. So, she resurrected an old Waverly legend and attempted to frighten her classmates away with notes from the black cat, followed by well-timed accidents. And she couldn't do that unless most, if not all, of its occupants spent midterm break elsewhere, leaving their rooms unoccupied. But without the clues that my investigation eventually uncovered, her only hope of finding it was by searching the entire building. Because of all the meticulous research she'd done, Kareen knew Rita Hollowell had hidden something written by Poe somewhere in Ramsey Hall. Look for a good hiding place when someone's coming. You'll know you've found one when you see the sneak cursor. In this game, you'll be able to sneak around the halls of the dorm after curfew, but don't get caught. And the settings menu allows you to personalize the look of your phone by choosing one of the options in each drop-down. Any text messages you receive will show up in the messages mode. Set your alarm to take a break and wake up hours later by entering clock mode. Camera mode allows you to take and view photos. When in camera mode, you can zoom in and pan before taking the picture. Click on view photos to see your saved pictures. 
You'll be downloading photos later from the View Photos mode. Phone mode stores all the numbers you'll need to know. Bring up the correct contact or dial the number yourself and press call. Be sure to call Ned from time to time. He's my boyfriend. In this game, you'll also have a cell phone with lots of features. Phone, camera, clock, messages, and settings. Each mode can be accessed by selecting its icon from the main menu. But before you get started, maybe I should explain some of the things you'll be seeing on the screen. As always, your mission is to solve the mystery by stepping into my shoes and deciding my every move. Burgundy is so not my color. Why can't our uniforms be teal, black, and white? And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. He worries about me enough as it is. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. When you're ready to start playing, just click on the plane tickets and hang on to your hat. If you choose Junior Detective, you'll get more hints than you will if you're a Senior Detective, and the puzzles will be a little easier. Before you can start playing, you need to decide whether to play as a Junior or Senior Detective. If there are a lot of words in the text box, use the scroll bar to move the text up and down so you can read along. And you seem to be pretty gabby, especially for someone who doesn't even have a mouth. You think so? Usually people only call me nosy when they're hiding something. Excuse me, Mr. Wiggle Woggle, but I'm not nosy. I'm just very curious. Excuse me, giant human person, but you seem to be pretty nosy, especially for someone who hardly even has a nose. I mean, compared to mine. Click on a response and see what your suspect says next. Let's say I've clicked on Mr. Woogle Woggle here. Our conversation will appear in the text box with his words in yellow and my responses in blue. Questioning suspects is something all detectives need to know how to do. In the game, to get people to talk to you, all you have to do is click on them. If you have to stop playing and leave the game, just click on the exit icon. Of course, save it first. The gear icon allows you to determine how you experience the game. For instance, you can choose to play the game in a window on your computer screen if you want. You can also adjust the volume of the music, voices, and sound effects, as well as turn off the closed captioning text and change the color of the background mat. Click on the folder icon and you'll be able to load a previously saved game. Just scroll through the thumbnails, select the game you want, then click on Load. Or if you click on New, you can start a new game. And while we're on the subject, it's a good idea to save your game from time to time while you're playing, just in case. The floppy disk icon allows you to name your current game, then save it, or to simply save your current game without renaming it. Click on the clipboard icon, and if you're a junior detective, you'll see a list of what I need to do. Organized person that I am, once I've done something, I check it off. I try to keep my notes tidy by putting them into categories. Just click on a category and you'll see all the entries on that topic I've made up to that point in the game. I keep reminders to myself in my journal. Click on the notebook icon at the bottom left of the screen and you'll see what I mean. You can close your inventory by clicking on the square in the upper right hand corner, by clicking on the inventory icon, or by clicking on another icon. To return an object to your inventory, just click on the inventory icon, then click on the open inventory box and the object will go back into storage. See how the cursor turned into the item you clicked on? Use the key to click on the lock on my suitcase, and you'll see how good I've gotten at packing. To use an item that's in your inventory, just click on it. In fact, try clicking on the key. To see what's in your inventory, just click on the inventory icon at the bottom of the screen. When you click on an object with the hand cursor, that object gets added to your inventory. See how the magnifying glass turned into a hand when you rolled it over the key? That means you can pick it up. To see how this works, move your mouse over this scene until the magnifying glass turns red. Then click to zoom in. When your magnifying glass turns into a question mark, you can talk to someone. When it becomes a hand, you can use it to open and close things, pick up objects, and move things around. I always use my magnifying glass to scan my surroundings for clues. 
When it turns red, I know I'm on to something. When you want to turn around, move your cursor to the bottom of the screen until it turns into an arrow that looks like a U-turn or back arrow, and click. Give it a try. Find the forward arrow and check out Mr. Woogle Woggle. He's my teddy bear. An arrow pointing forward allows you to go forward, while a back arrow allows you to step back. Sometimes up and down arrows are available, too. To get from one place to another in the game, just move your cursor around on the screen and click when an arrow pointing in the direction you want to go appears. As always, your mission is to solve the mystery by stepping into my shoes and deciding my every move. Stub. I am so sick of studying. My sandwich smells funny. Really? I always thought salmonella was something you got from salmon. In the meantime, my sister needs to finish her dinner and you should go. Nobody cares if one of us isn't around, but if the new girl suddenly disappears... That would be so cool. Then we'd know something that person doesn't want anyone to find out. Email. Each time is from a different address. What are you doing? Kim! Thank you. So we applied for scholarships all over the place, but this was the only one we got. So we decided to share it. We've been doing this for years, Becca. If we were doing any harm, we would have been found out by now. Please don't tell. Maybe later, okay? I can't talk now. Not now, okay? Afraid you're not done. Check out my note online. You made a boo-boo. Check the note I left for you online. Something's wrong with the web page. I left my comments online. I haven't gotten any notes, so I don't know and I don't really care. See ya. Later. Bye. See ya. So long. Needless to say, I failed miserably. See, my sister attends some classes and I attend others. AP Chemistry was one of hers. So one day, she got sick, and to avoid her getting an absence to merit, I went in her place. And naturally, that was the day the teacher decided to surprise the class with a test. I've got to get back to work. Thanks for the tip. You're right. I'm Kim. Can't fool you. You just guessed. That's impossible! We're exactly the same, right down to our handwriting. No one can tell us apart. I don't have them and I have no idea who does. That's how I knew this room connected to the attic, but they're missing? My sister says I shouldn't get my hopes up, but I can't help it. Any idea who the real black cat is yet? One of my web pages has to include the essay Kareen wrote that won the English department's coveted pen to paper award. So get a copy of it from her and upload it to the site, and that'll be that. Which is why graduating from Waverly with the highest grades possible is so important to me. All my dreams, my whole future, everything depends on it. Everything. You bet I will. The best one I can get into? You bet I am. See, I'm here on scholarship. If I don't make good grades, I'm out. All the other stuff kids are into, they're not options. Not for me. I'm here to study. That's just the way it is. It'd be cool to room with Izzy, I guess. Be kind of fun to, you know, bask in her popularity. But that's beside the point. No, I've always asked for a single. I love it. Great. Great. See you then. Sorry, I need it for the paper I'm writing. But I'll tell you what, if you get my math notebook from Mel, I'll work on that project for a while and you can borrow the Victorian book. I know Mel's just down the hall, but I'd rather not have to deal with her. Okay? Upload them like before. I'll check them when they're up, and if I see any problems, I'll leave a note for you on the page. Come back to me when you're done. Here's a list. They're all things that are special to Waverly Academy somehow. Iconic, I guess you'd say. They can all be found on the school grounds. But if you can find it, and I can get a photo of that photo up on the website, it would be such an incredible coup that it might even put me back in the running for valedictorian. The only one that might be a little problematic is the picture of Rita Hollowell and her cat. She was one of Waverly's founding teachers. There's a couple of references to the picture in the school records, but it hasn't been seen in eons. Next, I need you to take a few more pictures. See you later, okay? In the meantime, I'm about to be late for a meeting with my advisor, so if you could get started, that would be great. I really appreciate this, Becca. After you've taken everybody's picture, get on the computer in the library and upload them according to the instructions on that sheet. I'll check the pictures once they're up. If I want you to take any of them over, I'll leave a note for you on the page. When you're done, report back to me, all right? I may need you to do something else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what you need to do first is, great, take a picture of all the valedictorian candidates. Here are their names. You have a camera cell phone, right? Then this will be a great way to get oriented and meet people. I mean, you just met me, right? Positive. It's a design class, not a photography class. What the pictures are of and where they appear on the page are all that's important, and that'll be totally up to me. Positive. It's a design class, not a photography class. What the pictures are of and where they appear on the page are all that's important, and that'll be totally up to me. 
I know this is kind of weird, but I'm Rachel Hubbard. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm here on a scholarship. I blew a recent AP Chem test, which means I probably won't be valedictorian unless everybody else totally messes up. I love dogs. I hate cauliflower. My favorite subject's math. And I am desperate. I'm Rachel Hubbard. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm here on a scholarship. I blew a recent AP Chem test, which means I probably won't be valedictorian unless everybody else totally messes up. I love dogs. I hate cauliflower. My favorite subject's math. And I am desperate. Look, there's really not that much to know. You don't have to. I just need you to do grunt work, take pictures and upload them mostly. The pages I'm designing will be part of the Waverly School website. So since you're a transfer and you won't really have anything to do until classes start, I was hoping you could help me. And boy, am I glad you're here. See, I've got this web design project that's due by the end of the break. Only I've got two papers to write by then, too. That's me. Kareen was supposed to make sure you saw it. Guess she forgot. Anyway, I'm Rachel. What? Becca, hey, you finished the icon pictures. You even found that picture of Hollowell and her cat. Great job. There's just one more thing I need you to do, and then you'll be done with me. Us. Becca, nice job on the layout. You must be Becca Sawyer. Did you see my note? No. Yes. Maybe. No way. Sure. I don't think so. I guess so. But don't worry. Earning what you need to get hints is going to be all fun and games. If you're playing as a junior detective, you'll be able to get hints from a certain feathered friend. However, you're going to have to pay for them. <laughs> I need to sleep. Go away, okay? Not now, it's late. You can come in. It's not locked. I'm here. What? That's not right. Hamlet is a play about a little pig, isn't it? Don't take it so personally. She says stuff like that to everybody. That's 10 demerits. That's 10 demerits. That's five demerits. That's five demerits. That's three demerits. That's three demerits. That's two demerits. That's two demerits. That's one demerit. That's one demerit. Everything's all right. Just go back to sleep. Anyone who leaves her room gets five demerits. That'll be another three demerits and a trip to your room. I saw that, Miss Sawyer. That little stunt is going to cost you three demerits. To your room, now! Did you really think you could just walk away? Well, maybe the ten demerits you just earned will cause you to think again. Miss Sawyer, you are in ten demerits worth of trouble. To your room, Miss Sawyer, and contemplate the ten demerits this destructive little escapade has earned you. I saw that, Miss Sawyer. Ten demerits, now get to your room. Being up after curfew and attempting to get other students to do the same will cost you two demerits. Your room, now. I don't know how it is in France, but at Waverly, students like to sleep at night. That'll be two demerits, now get back to your room. It's far too late for socializing, Becca. Back to your room, now. You're supposed to be in your room, Miss Sawyer, not bothering the other students. Two demerits for you. You should be in your room, not trying to get into mine. That'll be two demerits. Being up after curfew, that's five demerits. Your room, now. Being up after curfew, that's two demerits. It's past curfew. You are about to get yourself two big ones. Do you know what time it is? How does two demerits o'clock sound? It's after hours. You're about to get two demerits. Not now, please. Go away, please. Sorry, I don't want to be disturbed right now. You may not come in. Just leave. Miss Sawyer, get down from there before you fall and break your neck. That will be three demerits. I see you, Becca. And I just gave you three demerits. Now get down from there and go to your room. Room, Miss Sawyer. Now, climbing that tree just cost you three demerits. Out of the tree and back to your room, Becca. That's three demerits. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, that's gonna cost you. Back to your room, Miss Rebecca of Demerit Brook Farm. You just earned yourself a trip to Demerit City, Becca. 
Congratulations, Miss Sawyer. You're the proud recipient of five demerits. Hey, whatever you're up to just cost you a whole slew of demerits. I hope you like demerits because you just got five of them. You are caught. Go to your room now. That'll be five big ones. Party's over. Return to your room. Back to your room. Now. I don't know how it was in France, but if you run around after hours here, you get five demerits. Room, Miss Sawyer. Now. That's five demerits, Miss Sawyer. Now go back to your room right now or I'll make it an even ten. Looks like the new girl gets five demerits. And if she's not back in her room in ten seconds, she'll get five more. Busted, Becca Sawyer. That's five demerits. And if you don't get back to your room right now, we'll be talking five more. I see you, Becca Sawyer. That's five demerits. Now get back to your room. Yoo-hoo! Where are you? Ollie Ollie Oxen Free! Where are you? Just show yourself. I know someone's in here. Hello? Hello? Whoever is sneaking around up here, don't even try to hide from me. It's pointless. I will find you, and when I do, we're talking Demeritville. Someone's out of a room who shouldn't be. You can't fool these ears. Or these eyes. Where are you? Who's there? Who's there? I heard someone. It's past curfew. You should be in your room. Hello? No, really, I'm not kidding. He said that to me, I swear. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. Waverly girls are quite the best, far better than all others. They not only pass the test, they beat out all their brothers. I can't believe she really thought she could fool me with that thing. How stupid does she think I am? She's the one who's stupid. Here's Casper, showing us what all the stylish squirrels will be wearing this summer. Play us off, graduation cat. Hey! The black cat strikes again. The setting on my flash might be just a little too strong. We all tried, but none of us were ever able to snatch the pebble from her hand. Now, should I put this in the oops pile or the I'm so very sorry pile? Hmm, I must have been going through an abstract phase at the time. Ah, the elusive eyes closed blurry snapshot. <laughs> Many photographers spend years perfecting this technique, but to some of us it just comes naturally. The Waverly Academy Founders. Ooh, what a stuffy group. So that's where I put that. Okay, my cell phone? From the States originally, but I came here by way of France. It's a long story. I'm Becca Sawyer. I just transferred here. My hair's on fire? Will do. Bye, big guy. Excellent. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okie dokie. Thanks, Ned. You're the best. Bye. Sounds good. Thanks for your help. Becca Sawyer, you rock. I should see what was behind the raven first. Another teacher order. A teacher order? I've got to get this one done fast. If I'm fast enough, I can earn a credit. Too slow, and I'll get a demerit. Stub, I don't want to leave just yet. I can't leave yet. There are still too many strange things going on here. I came, I saw, I made snacks. Another order done. Done. Any more? It's too dark in here. I can't see anything. It is way too dark in here. It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. It looks like a piece is missing. I tried to beat you, but you're so good. Is there any chance you could help me out anyway? Not now. I should go meet the other girls first. This is no time for a nap. I need to figure out who's been blackmailing the twins. Not every problem can be solved with darts. Better look somewhere else. Maybe later. I don't feel like playing right now. Rats, I was too slow. One demerit for me.
Shoot, for making a teacher wait, I get a demerit. Darn, I didn't finish the order fast enough. One demerit coming up. Come on, Becca, get a move on. I need to pick up the pace. I'm too slow. I've got to move faster. A teacher order, or should I say a rush order, pressure's on. One of the teachers ordered this. I need to fill it quickly. Uh Uh-oh, this order is for a teacher. I better do it right and fast. Listen, I tried to beat you. I really did, but you're just too good. Now I'm scorer. I'm scorer this round. I'm blocker this round. Now I'm blocker. Okay, so now it's my turn to throw and I get to score. Guess I better go for the high numbers before you take them out. So, in this round, you're the blocker and you're going to try to hit the high numbers so they get crossed off the score list. I think I got it. (gasps) Yikes, I almost fell. That would hurt. Whoa, that was close. Corrine, you hear? Guess not. Dupin? I've seen that name before in Hollowell's journal. And the modern blueprint includes a drawing of the furnace and a bunch of numbered valves. That's interesting. The old set of blueprints shows a tiny room behind the furnace which isn't on the modern blueprints. All done. That should do it. There. I need to take a picture of this so I can upload it to the website along with the other icon photos. Rachel is going to be thrilled. This must be the photo of Rita Hollowell and her cat that Rachel was hoping I'd find. Play the piano now? At night? No way. They'd kick me out of this place for sure. Wonder if these utensils pull away like this for a reason. What is that sound? Wonder what this is to. According to the original school blueprints, there's a small room behind the furnace that isn't on the later blueprints. What was that? Unlocked for a change. How about that? It's open. It's not locked. Locked. Guess Izzy and Leela are somewhere else. It's dark and I've never climbed this thing before. Talk about your recipes for disaster. What I need is an expert tree climber to show me the best way up this thing. Since I don't really know where I'm going, climbing this tree is probably not a good idea. I need to get out of sight. I can't let whoever's coming see me. I'd better hide. Someone's coming. This must be the note Corrine was supposed to make sure I saw. That's not quite right. I think I made a mistake. Do-overs. I better do that over. Oopsie. Darn. Missed. Rats. That works. Bingo. All right. I did it. Another black cat note? Guess who just got a second note from the black cat? Looks like Corrine got a second note from the black cat. Looks like Corrine got a second note from the black cat, too. (laughs) I can't reach. If I want to go after that squirrel, I'm going to have to find another way to get up into this tree. He must have some kind of nest up there. Come back here! What are you doing? Hey! That sure got around fast. Well, hey, little guy. What's up? That's not very nice. But then gossip seldom is. They're still gossiping about me. I second that. What was that? Sounds like the black cat stalking Izzy. Looks like Mel got another note. Uh Uh-oh. Now what's happened? Izzy sounds a tad upset. Plagiarism? Is that true, or is it just a rumor? Uh Uh-oh, Leela's not going to like that. I'm being gossiped about already? That sure didn't take long. (laughs) Don't worry. Hey, guess who just got a note from the black cat? Whoa, when it comes to Mr. Poe and maybe Miss, or should I say Nurse Hollowell, looks like Corrine's a bit of an expert. The snack shop, shoot, I totally forgot. I don't even know where it is. I'm in charge of the snack shop? This should be interesting. Sounds like it's coming from the other side of the wall. What is that noise? Bad idea. Someone could be eavesdropping. This is not the best place to make a call. This can wait till I'm sure no one's listening. I'd better wait. I should wait till morning to call anyone. I can't call anyone. I'd probably wake them up. It's too late to call anyone now. Well, since that snow won't be melting any time soon, I'd better start looking for another way out. A pile of snow must have slid off the roof onto these doors. They won't budge. I can go to sleep after I find out what Rachel was doing in the hall after curfew. If I don't find out why Rachel was sneaking around like that now, I may never get another chance. Who am I kidding? I can't sleep. Not till I find out what Rachel was doing. That's Rachel. What's she up to? 
I should probably find out. No use opening the snack shop at this late hour. I'm not going to get any customers at this time of night. It's late. Nobody's going to want a snack now. Food's ready. Come get your order. Order up. Order's ready. Attention, everyone. As of now, the snack shop is open. Okay, people. I'm ready to take your orders. Step right up. The snack shop is open. Okay, everybody. Snack shop's open. This is the book that's missing from the library. If I return it, I'll get credit points. This is the book that's missing from the library. I should probably return it. Oh, no. What have I done? <gasps> to open this, I'm going to need a key. There. All done. Hopefully, Rachel will agree. Let's see if that works. That should do it. I hope. That looks right to me. Looks like I need a key. If I set my alarm and fall asleep here, they'll be gossiping about how weird the new girl is for weeks. Setting my alarm and going to sleep in my room, fine. Doing that here? <laughs> I don't think so. I need to go back to my room if I want to mess with a clock. I can't do this here. I should go back to my room. Nuts. The battery's dead. I don't need to zoom in on this. Locked. Izzy must be somewhere else. It's already open. Someone didn't lock their door. How about that? This door's not locked. Oh, where's some air freshener when you need it? What is that? One crow's nest coming up. Not nice, Dwayne. Not nice at all. Cuckoo what? Fruit. What was the deal with all those glass eyes? If he finds out I lost that locket, I am so going to be in trouble. B.S. has B.O. Hey, who wrote that? Becca Sawyer, you rock. I like this game. Point. Oh, yeah. One for the good guys. I got a point. Those are Roman numerals. Something tells me I don't see Rachel's math book anywhere because it wound up in here. This cornerstone looks different than it did in that book. Looks like I'm not supposed to slide over the places where the lines cross more than once. I'm guessing I need to slide this thing over all the places where two lines come together. Oh, no. That must be Paige, the demerit person. I can't let her see me. Wait a second. What's this? Looks like Danielle did get a second note from the black cat. Leave without my phone? <laughs> not. I better not go anywhere without my phone. What am I missing? Oh, yeah, my phone. Oops, almost forgot to retrieve my phone. Oh, nuts, there goes my phone. Time to get up already? This is the cloak the leader of the Blackwood Society was wearing. Jacob Price. I wonder if that's the same Jacob Izzy allegedly stole from Leela. Jacob Price. Wonder who he is. Whoa, Izzy, yucking it up with Kareen? This is an interesting turn of events. I beat the top score. Take that, Izzy. If the date on this paper is correct, then whoever posted the paper online did so after Mel turned it in, which proves she didn't copy it. Someone named Rachel wants me to come to her room. Kareen told me about your being a legacy. Did your mother graduate from here? Read much followed by more. Wonder why it was spelled with two O's instead of one. Is this sampler as old as it looks? Well, good luck with your papers. I'll go so you can get back to work. Guess I'd better get to work. I'll stop hassling you now. Oh, one more question. Who do you think the black cat is? That test you flunked. What happened? Your sister does this hair-tucking thing. You're probably so used to seeing her do it that you have no idea you don't. Now that I've seen you and your sister together, I'm pretty sure I can tell you apart. You're Kim, aren't you? You're Rachel, aren't you? Would you happen to know anything about the official blueprints of the school that are missing from the library? I just want to know why they're missing, that's all. So, you've seen them? No, but don't worry, I'm working on it. Are you going to college? Will you have to get a scholarship? Any idea which one? What's it like not having a roommate? Is there anybody here you'd like to have for a roommate? Have you ever had a roommate? Before, you said you didn't want to deal with her. Sure. One math notebook coming up. Listen, I know you checked out a book on Victorian dining, but I was wondering if I could borrow it. I'm kind of into Victorian stuff. I'll give it my best shot. No, but her name's been scratched off, so that's what I figured. Course. Well, I guess I could help you. Sure. Uh, not really. But it's my first day. I barely know my way around. 
You sure that's not cheating? But I don't even know you. But I don't know anything about web design. What is it? Has math always been your favorite subject? What do you have against Mel? Thank you. What's next? Sure did. Hi, I'm Becca Sawyer. Remember? I did if you're Rachel Hubbard. Uh, no. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. I'm still here. Something else? Hey, Nan. Missed me already, huh? Nancy, what'd you forget? Stay on your toes. Call again soon, okay? Watch yourself, Nan. Stay out of trouble. What do you want to know? Tell me what you need and I'll do my best. Hints are my middle name. Something tells me it might be a good idea to find her. Why not? How much does your roommate know about all this? You think she hid something valuable that once belonged to Poe? The one who supposedly hid something valuable in the building you're in? That's interesting, Nan, but so what? She's an expert on Edgar Allan Poe? In that case, let's get something straight. If you get another note, I do not want to know about it. Or maybe someone knows you're not who you say you are and is telling you to back off. That could be. Wait a minute. I thought you said only valedictorian candidates got notes. You? I don't know, Nance. These twins are obviously good at fooling people. They could be playing you. And now that they know that you know their secret, their work could get a whole lot dirtier. You mean they're being blackmailed? They're the black cat? Wow. I'm impressed. They're pretending to be one person? What do you mean she's two people? Why am I not surprised? Maybe she's onto you and she's hiding. Did you bust her on it? That's huge. Which suspect? Well, keep at it, Nan. I mean, destroying someone's term paper? This black cat person is low. Any leads? Ouch. What do you mean, destroyed? Never hurts to stay on your toes, that's for sure. Whoa. Untangling that little web should keep you busy for a while. So what was the deal? You sure about that? And you can never have too many of those, can you? Can't have too many of those, can you? Why? You're getting a little off task, don't you think? Maybe she's just a good actress. You believe her? So even Waverly girls cheat, huh? You're on the right track, Nan. You've got motive. You've got opportunity. All you're missing is proof. Well, those two are obviously extremely resourceful. Is if all the other candidates fail at something, too. Wow, that is impressive. Rachel has a twin? What about the plagiarism charge? You think she faked that to divert suspicion from herself? Proving it is going to be a bear. Well, there's just one little problem with thinking that Mel's your perp. So you think she's been sending those notes and causing those accidents just because she can? What about being valedictorian? But if she's that shrewd and competitive, shouldn't she have known she'd be the most obvious suspect? Sounds good on paper. Now all you have to do is prove it. What about her term paper getting trashed like that? Then you're almost there. Now all you have to do is prove it. What about the accidents? You think she's smart enough to pull them off? Great. Let's hear it. You can't even take a guess? Well, if there is a connection between this case and Edgar Allan Poe, you could be in for it. Poe is considered to be one of the greatest mystery writers of all time. You're kidding me. Well, Poe did write a story called The Gold Bug. But that could just be a coincidence, Nancy. Now, if you find a little raven or a tiny orangutan, I give. The famous 19th century American writer? I don't know, Nance. Sounds like your imagination may be working overtime. Nancy, my girlfriend just told me she's been climbing trees and chasing squirrels in the dead of night. So when it comes to what's weird and what isn't, you're asking the wrong person. So what does this Blackwood Society do? Look, in the meantime, just do my peace of mind a favor and stay out of trees, okay? You may get some answers. You're going to have to assume it fits in somehow. So how does this secret society or whatever it is fit in with your investigation? So you were actually up in the oak tree, chasing a squirrel? What were you doing awake in the middle of the night? How do you know that? Does anyone else know about this? Very. How valuable is very valuable? Too late. You know, you're going to have to be real careful what you ask and tell people from now on. Because if someone is trying to find it, and realizes you may be trying to find it too, that's interesting. Does anyone else know about this? Well, you've got great instincts, Nan. Follow them. So the notes are based on a ghost story. I mean, some kids might very well take them seriously. Whoever's sending them knows what she's doing. Say no more. You've got great instincts, Nan. Follow them. And? And do you think she has something to do with notes being sent to students now? Excuse me? Oh, yeah? What's she teach? Ah, you sound excited. Snack shop, boss. Sharpening pencils. Collecting milk money. Cleaning erasers. The quiet loner type, huh? Better keep an eye on her. 
So come. Bad breath? B.O.? Poor taste in shoes? So what's this Rachel person like? How'd you get out of that? Ooh, this Izzy person could be in for it big time. Yikes. So what's she going to do about it? Uh-oh. That could get ugly. Uh-oh. No girl likes to lose that competition. Ah, smart jock. Good for her. Shouldn't she be studying like everyone else? She's a valedictorian? Whoa, talk about living dangerously. Now that's just asking for trouble. Roost rulers seldom are. She's at the front of it. Is she nice? Maybe I'm a sucker for obvious suspects, but it sounds to me like you should find out. Is she into black cats? She doesn't have a lot of friends. A goth? As in weird hair and disturbing body piercings? At an exclusive East Coast all-girl boarding school? What makes you say that? That's not good. Keep going. Who else? Cool. Tell me about him. You just had to throw that in, didn't you? Right. Good. And in the process, you're going to be very, very careful. You're not posing as a valedictorian, are you? So what is your plan? Malicious, huh? But how smart can these kids be if they're intimidated by a bunch of silly notes? Whoa. Being valedictorian is that big a deal? Think someone there has a grudge against brainy kids? What about the case? Any luck tracking down the source of those mysterious notes? Like I said, just lie through your teeth and you'll do fine. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. They got a pecking order going, huh? Of course they like you. Hey, Nancy. So, do you know who done it yet? Hi, Nancy. You making progress? Nancy, hi, what's up? Hey, Nan, what's going on? So, how's it going? Nancy, hi, you at the school? Nancy, hi, I just got your message. You're at the school? Nancy, hi, I hadn't heard from you and just wondered how you were doing. You at the school? Actually, maybe later. I need to get going. Never mind, we can talk more later. On second thought, the hint can wait. I should go. I changed my mind. I'd better go. Time to do some more snooping. I need to get back. That's it for now. I'd better go before someone overhears me. I always do. See you, Ned. You got it. Bye. I will, Ned. Talk to you soon. I'll try, but you know me. Bye. I could use a hint. A hint would come in very handy right about now. Think you could give me a hint? For like the first time ever, she's not in her room. I have no idea where she is. I have no idea, and unfortunately I can't ask her. Maybe even an unpublished manuscript. She did teach literature, and she was quite a Poe fan. She would have considered it priceless, even back then. According to Corrine's paper, Rita Hollowell may have had direct contact with Poe when she was a nurse back in Baltimore. So, according to the research I've done, Rita Hollowell hid something valuable in the building I'm staying in here at Waverly. I found out that my roommate Corrine is a bit of an expert when it comes to a certain famous 19th century American mystery writer. She's done a lot of research on him, and according to this paper she wrote, that teacher I told you about, Rita Hollowell, she's done a lot of research on him. And, according to this paper she wrote, that teacher I told you about, Rita Hollowell, she may have had direct contact with Poe when she was a nurse in Baltimore. She's done a lot of research on him, and, according to this paper she wrote, one of the first teachers here at Waverly may have had direct contact with Poe when she was a nurse in Baltimore. That too, but don't worry, bad things don't happen unless you get two notes. Or maybe I'm wrong and the notes have nothing to do with being valedictorian. Guess who got her very own black cat note? Maybe the black cat just assumes that since I'm on this floor, I'm a candidate too. Yep. Somehow the black cat discovered their secret. So now, if they don't comply, bust it. Not technically. Apparently the real black cat is forcing them to do her dirty work for her. They're also responsible for the black cat notes. They've been sharing the scholarship Rachel got since day one, and no one here is the wiser. You're not going to believe this, but Rachel is actually two people. Yes. I mean she has a twin named Kim, and they're both here at Waverly attending classes as Rachel. Our friendly neighborhood Poe expert, Corrine. I would if I could, but I don't know where she is. My roommate, Corrine. As a matter of fact, I found the password to Izzy's computer in the possession of one of my suspects. Not really. Izzy is really upset. She made me promise to help her find who did it. Someone destroyed the term paper Izzy has been slaving over. No kidding. It's been erased from her computer. I'm still not sure about anything or anybody around here. Well, it appears she was framed by the guy who used to be dating Leela, but is now dating Izzy. I'm not sure yet, but at least it gives me an excuse to snoop around. I'm the one who cleared her.
The school administration accused Mel of plagiarizing a paper. Not really, no. Sure am. Actually, turns out she was innocent. Not at all. This gives me an excuse to snoop around. Because it'll give me an excuse to snoop around some more. But I did tell her I'd help her try to clear her name. I hope not, because I told her I'd help her try to clear her name. She seemed really, really upset. The school administration has accused Mel of plagiarizing a paper. Heck no. Yeah, I think I do. Actually, Mel swears up and down she's innocent. And very determined. So she and Kim have been causing accidents and blaming them on the black cat. That's my theory, at least. That will level the playing field and make Rachel a viable candidate again. There's no way they're going to college unless they get another scholarship. And the only way they're going to do that is if Rachel is named valedictorian. But because she recently flunked a chem test, the only way that can happen... And it gives them a huge motive. Yes, they'd been pretending to be one person and sharing the scholarship Rachel got since day one, and no one has ever found out. No, I think it was for real. Either Leela or Izzy tried to get her kicked out of Waverly. Not because they know she's a black cat or anything, but because they both just plain don't like her. What? Right. And I think her victims are all valedictorians just because they're the handiest targets. Much as I like her, I think she's got this nonconformist thing going that makes her capable of pretty much anything. And she's so unpredictable. I mean, just when I start thinking she's totally her own person, I find out she belongs to an exclusive secret society. She's smart, she's creative, she likes getting a rise out of people, and she's got this nonconformist thing going that makes her capable of pretty much anything. I think that's just another reason she's bitter. I think she thinks she's got being valedictorian in the bag, and she resents being compared to kids she feels are clearly inferior to her. I think she's real bitter about how the kids here treat her, and is doing all this black cat stuff to get even with them. You bet. Which is why she took the added precaution of faking a wrist injury, to deflect suspicion by coming across as a victim. Playing games is her life, and she only plays to win. And what's the surest way to win the valedictorian game? Get rid of the competition, either by scaring them or actually doing them harm. She probably backed it up, then deleted it so she could play the victim and make it look like someone else is the black cat. Whatever she lacks in brains, she more than makes up for in motivation. And since hurting people doesn't seem to bother her at all, yes, I think she is. She's not very book smart, but she's incredibly people smart. And since this black cat stuff is basically psychological warfare, something she's an expert at... I'm pretty sure she's using it to mitigate the competition when it comes to being valedictorian. I think it's Rachel and her twin sister, Kim. I think it's the goth next door, Mel. I think it's my roommate, Corrine. I think it's Waverly star athlete, Leela. I think it's the student body president, Izzy. Well, if I had to guess, I'd say... It's Rachel and her twin sister, Kim. It's the goth next door, Mel. It's my roommate, Corrine. It's Waverly star athlete, Leela. It's the student body president, Izzy. The tokens seem to have been left behind by that teacher, Rita Hollowell. And since Poe died, what, around 1850, and since Waverly was founded in 1866, some kind of connection between the two is at least possible. The tokens seem to have been left behind by one of Waverly's founding teachers. And since Poe died, what, around 1850? And since Waverly was founded in 1866, some kind of connection between the two is at least possible. How about a little cat? Nope. Bingo. I also found this token thing that looks like a little gold beetle. Remind you of anything? I'm starting to wonder if this case has something to do with Edgar Allan Poe somehow. That's always a possibility, but guess what book recently went missing from Waverly's library? The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories. That's always a possibility, but guess what book is currently missing from Waverly's library? Remember that teacher I told you about, Rita Hollowell? She mentioned a chant in this journal of hers that I found, and that's what this group was doing, chanting. I found a journal that this woman named Rita Hollowell wrote. She was one of the teachers that founded Waverly back in 1866. Anyway, in her journal, she mentioned a chant, and that's what this group was doing, chanting. Nothing. They just get together every so often and chant. Isn't that weird? According to Mel, the group is called the Blackwood Society, and it's been around since the school was founded. Everything about it is so secret that Mel doesn't even know who the other members are. Well...
Get this, there's a group of girls here that dress up in dark cloaks and meet secretly in the middle of the night. I saw them. I'm not sure that it does, but I think one of the girls dropped a barrette, and if I can find out whose it is, I'm not sure that it does, but until I know differently... Actually, I'm not sure it does, but... Yeah, but... <sighs> it's a long story. I had to find its den so I could retrieve something it had stolen. There seems to be a group of girls here that dress up in dark cloaks and meet secretly in the middle of the night. Chasing a squirrel. I saw them. They just stood there in the dark by this big oak tree, chanting something over and over again, real quietly. That teacher I told you about, Rita Hollowell, I'm pretty sure she hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. I don't know. Actually, she referred to it as a treasure. Pretty interesting, though, huh? That's the old building I'm staying at. I'll be careful, Ned. Don't worry. Stub. And it looks like Miss Hollowell hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. That's the old building I'm staying in. Legend around here has it that she died from a heart attack caused by a student prank. She supposedly comes back every now and then as her beloved black cat to take revenge. I'm not sure, but if someone does know and is trying to find out what Hollowell hid, that might explain the notes from the black cat. Not only did she have a black cat, but it looks like she hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. That's the old building I'm staying in. And I have this gut feeling that why she's sending them has something to do with Rita Hollowell. And legend around here has it that she died from a heart attack caused by a student prank. She supposedly comes back every now and then as her beloved black cat to take revenge. And I just have this gut feeling she's involved somehow. She had a black cat. The notes from the black cat may have something to do with a teacher named Rita Hollowell. She helped found Waverly Academy back in 1866. Literature, at least she did, about 150 years ago. I also like listening in on everybody's conversations while I fill their orders. I am excited. I like earning credits. I have to stand behind the counter in the rec room and fill kids' snack orders. If I don't do it at least once a day, I get demerits. If I fill a lot of orders in one day, I get credits. All the seniors here get assigned weekly work-study jobs. Guess what mine is? Snack shop boss. No, no. On second thought, it could wait. Bye. I changed my mind. See ya. Never mind. I'll call you later. She's just strange somehow. Kind of absent-minded. She scares some kids, and she seems to keep to herself. She's kind of absent-minded or something. Leela says she's schizoid, and she does tend to keep to herself. People just think she's kind of weird and scary, and she does tend to keep to herself. Leela says she's schizoid, to the point of being scary, and she does tend to keep to herself. No one around here seems to like her very much. Well, I didn't. I told her I'd help her. And actually, it's a good thing. Gives me an excuse to go poking around, talking to people. Right now, nothing. She's going to let Izzy stew for a while and worry about what she's going to do about it. Says she's got everything under control, academically at least. Socially, her roommate Izzy just stole her boyfriend. Says she's got everything under control, academically at least. Socially, it would appear that her roommate just stole her boyfriend. Says she's got everything under control, academically at least. Socially, it would appear that someone just stole her boyfriend. Says she's got everything under control. Yep. Spends most of her time in the rec room trying to get people to play games with her. Especially when they make a habit of stealing their classmates' boyfriends. Especially when they steal their classmates' boyfriend. But she's not without enemies. Oh, yeah. She rules the roost around here, that's for sure. But that's probably because I'm still new to the pecking order. She is to me, so far. Don't know that yet. Doesn't seem to. She's a legacy. Meaning the women in her family have been attending Waverly for generations. If you're a legacy, you're automatically accepted. You're not automatically liked, however. She's a legacy, meaning the women in her family have been attending Waverly for generations. If you're a legacy, you're automatically accepted, no matter what color your hair is. Yep, and she plays the cello, constantly. Just the way she talks about herself. Plus, she comes across as kind of socially awkward. At this school, it's a disaster. I've met all the valedictorian candidates. This girl named Rachel asked me to help her with a school project. 
Lila Yadev is Waverly's star athlete, and man, is she competitive. Izzy Romero is a valedictorian candidate and student body president. Believe it or not, there's a goth living in the room next to mine. Kareen, the girl I'm rooming with, she's not exactly Miss Popularity. Sorry. Although I am living on the same floor as they are. Right. No, I'm not. I'm going to search every inch of this place and question everybody I see until something or someone leads me to the black cat. It's midterm study break. The kids who chose to stay at the school are cramming for tests and madly writing papers. The notes may be silly, but they're still distracting, and some of the accidents that have followed them have been pretty malicious. So far, I've only met one girl who even halfway likes her. The girl in the next room called her an outcast. She does come across as pretty needy. It's a very big deal. The valedictorian gets a college scholarship. Full ride, school of her choice. Stub. Or one of the brainy kids is trying to get rid of her competition. They're being sent by someone who signs them as the Black Cat, complete with a paw print and scratch marks. And only valedictorian candidates have been getting them. Be myself. Ned, I'm a detective. I'm pretty much here to spy on people. If they get wind of that... And it is brutal like junior high on steroids. And even if they do like me, no one's going to commit to being my friend until they're sure about where I fit in around here socially. I can't figure out whether any of the girls I've met so far actually like me. I hope so, because I can tell already that where you fit in socially around here is huge. The girls I've met so far are bright and interesting and seem to like me. I don't have a clue. Terrible. Well, I have an idea who the culprit is. Great. I sure am. Still not there. Hi, Ned. Well, I'm at Waverly, but I guess I'll call you later. I don't really have that much to report yet anyway. Bye. Hello? Stub. Just don't slide the marker along any of the outside curved lines, and you're sure to hit on the right path eventually. If you take another look at Rita Hallowell's journal, I think you'll find that when it comes to Ravens, she sketched and pretty much listed everything out for you. And by paying attention to the month in which each item was published... Well, if there's a slot in those columns for every item on that list, and if every column represents a year, like, say, 1841 or 1843, and some of those stories and poems are about animals. Well, in that list, each poem or story is followed by the date it was published. You know that list of poems and stories that someone, probably Rita Hallowell, had left in that book by Poe you recovered? Head for the card catalog in the library. There's bound to be a book on music theory around there somewhere, and once you have it, the lampshades will tell you which notes to play and in what order, and the book will tell you where those notes are on the keyboard. Yeah, him too. The lampshades will tell you which notes to play and in what order, and the book will tell you where those notes are on the piano keyboard. You've got everything you need to be a regular Van Halen. All you need is something that'll tell you how the notations etched into those lampshades translate into piano keys. Head for the card catalog in the library. There's bound to be a book on music theory around there somewhere. Take a good look around the foyer. There are a couple of things in there that might shed some light on the subject. Those letters that someone scratched into the wood nearby, they're Roman numerals. And if you're not sure how to translate Roman numerals, check the catalog in the library. With any luck, it'll point you to a book on them. Neither Corrine nor Megan are in spot number two. See if that helps. The address has ten digits. Remember that, and the fact that none of the digits repeat, and your troubles will soon be over. Check the book on Victorian dining you got. Everything you need to know is in there. The order in which the food in that old menu is served is the order in which you should pull the flatware. Just look at each three-dimensional object really hard and try to imagine what it would look like from the front, top, and side. Then look through the two-dimensional views and find the ones that match what you see in your head. Like as an example, the 2D view with the upright T? That's the top view of 3D object number one. That should help you get started. I know the piece with the two yellow adenines attaches to the phosphate in the piece in the corner with the blue guanine. As for the other pieces, just add them to the model by following Izzy's instructions, and your DNA will be NAD. Now all done. The idea is to make the hole in the center disappear, and you can do that by turning the pieces so the right angles that are now on the inside of the square wind up on the outside. Try ricocheting the puck off the sides to make a goal, rather than trying to hit it straight in. Ricochets are harder to block. A certain furry little white rodent will show you the way. Follow in his exact footsteps, or should I say, paw steps, and you will fall no more. Check the school's website and see if anyone there has recently had a similar problem, and if so, 
what they did to ID a solution. It's been great talking to you. Thanks for talking to me. I'd better let you go. I'd better get going. That's all I got for now. Sorry, I'll call you later. Bye. Right, bye. What about your cell phone? How do you like rooming with Mel? Who would you want as a roommate? You don't like her? Mel told me Izzy stole your boyfriend. Is that true? Could you email me your picture? I need it for the school's website. If you had to guess, who would you say the black cat is? Why her? Did many kids at Waverly know about your allergies before this last episode? What's up with all this black cat stuff that's going on at Waverly? Wound up in the hospital. You think whoever sent you that note tampered with your food and deliberately triggered that allergic reaction? Who at Waverly knew about your allergies? The thing that triggered your reaction, do you have any idea what it was or how it got in your food? Weird. You think whoever sent you the note is somehow responsible for what happened to you? Have you ever gone into anaphylactic shock before? What do you mean? Is there something about it you don't miss? Whoa. Must have gone to her grandparents. Got another question. Hi, okay if I ask you something else? What do you think about all this black cat stuff? What exactly happened to you anyway? Hi, my name is Becca Sawyer. I'm a new student at Waverly, and I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions, if that's okay. I mean, I know you've been sick. Me again. Uh, it's Becca again. Hi, it's Becca Sawyer. I'd better get going. I'll let you get back to your music. Maybe I'll pop in again later. I'll quit bugging you. Do you by any chance have a library book called The Black Cat and Other Poe Stories? I need a photo of your roommate Megan for the school website. Would you happen to have one? Do you think there's any connection between the Blackwood Society and all this black cat stuff? What happens if you don't want to be a member? Who's the leader? What does the Blackwood Society do? Who does the choosing? Mel, look, whatever you tell me will go no further than this room, I promise. I'm not looking for something to gossip about. I just want to know what's going on with you, that's all. I can't just forget what I saw, and you know it. So it's okay if I text everybody about what I think I saw? I found your barrette. I was watching, Mel, from up in the oak tree. I saw you. I know, this one fell out of your hair at that cloak and dagger meeting you were at last night. Is this by any chance your barrette? It's almost like she's afraid of you. Did you do something to make her mad at you? I need to get Rachel's math notebook from you. Well, actually, Rachel, uh, that's all right. I can go get it. Here you go. You have a certain image to maintain. Understood. I'll be back. That book on music theory you checked out, could I take a look at it? Thanks. I, uh, I don't know for sure, but it kind of looks like Izzy may have been involved. Because the paper you supposedly plagiarized wasn't online until the next day. Someone must have gotten a hold of your paper, copied it, and posted it in an attempt to make you look like a plagiarist. Was the date on your term paper the date that you turned it in? Stub. Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Hunting down the facts is kind of a hobby with me anyway. You think someone's trying to frame you? Is it true you recently got a second note from the black cat? Paper trail? Why did they think you did? Can you prove that you didn't? Who do you think the black cat is? So you agree with your roommate? Does anyone else think it's Izzy? What makes it so obvious? You two are roommates, yet you don't seem to be friends. Why is that? She thinks Izzy is the black cat, too. She thinks Izzy is the black cat. Any particular reason why? I called Megan Vargas. Not great. She really misses this place. Haven't you talked to her? I need to take a close-up of you for a page on the school website I'm helping put up. I need to take your picture again. What do you mean by off? Why do you think she flunked that test? Do you think she'll make valedictorian? How well do you know Rachel? With whom does she hang out? How come? Are you friends with Leela? Is it true you and Leela used to be best friends? Do most kids like her? Do you think she's smart? Would you say she's the most popular girl in your class? How can she be vacuous and be a valedictorian candidate? Do you hang out with Izzy much? Do you play any other instruments? Does Waverly have an orchestra? You play that cello pretty well. Do you like it here at Waverly? Not really. So far, but I wasn't forced to go here like you were. What did you mean when you said no biggie? Don't you want to be valedictorian? Who else is Corrine friends with? No biggie? Don't you want to be valedictorian? 
How well do you know the girl I'm rooming with, Corrine? What makes you say she's a social outcast? Who's smarter, you or Corrine? I changed my mind. See ya. You know, just forget I was here. Bye. On second thought, never mind. Later. Oh my gosh, what exactly happened to her? Did Megan have any idea who left her those notes? Is that what your roommate thinks? Tell me more about this black cat. You sound a little skeptical. What? I didn't get expelled. What do you think about all this black cat stuff? What's your roommate's name? You're quite a musician. Have you gotten a message from the black cat yet? Where's your roommate? Did you learn to play the cello here at Waverly? What's the rumor mill been saying about the black cat? So I'm the source of rumors already? How did you know? What? No, I didn't. Sorry, I got distracted. I forgot. So they're not going to expel you? So you didn't plagiarize that paper? How long have you been playing the cello? I just moved into the room next door. Uh, I'm Becca Sawyer. That's it for now. I'll check back with you later. I'll let you go. I'd better get going. I've bugged you enough for now. It looks like Mel was framed for plagiarism by someone named Jacob Price. So Jacob didn't have any kind of personal grudge against Mel? The thing is, he would have still been dating you when it happened. I found this barrette outside. Is it yours? Air hockey. Scram. Do you think I could borrow the old menu that you borrowed from the display case in the foyer? Let me guess. I have to beat you at a game. Nothing? Maybe it's all just a big misunderstanding. Have you confronted her yet? Maybe it's more Jacob's fault than hers. You had no idea Izzy was interested in him? Do you ever hang out with my roommate, Corrine? Who does hang out with her? Why not? You used to be good friends with Mel, didn't you? Any idea what happened to the book of post stories that's missing from the library? Are you and Izzy pretty good friends? So you don't like her that much? So you don't know her that well? How about a game of Scram? Feel like playing air hockey? Would it be okay if you weren't the valedictorian? Is it true you're here on a scholarship? What would happen if you got injured and couldn't play sports for the rest of the year? So it's okay if you aren't the valedictorian? I think I'm ready to beat you at Scram now. Thank you. All done. You can keep it. Thanks. Let me try that again. Not quite right. I'd better take another. That wasn't very good. Great. Looks like I'll have to take a picture of a picture. I'm ready. Game on. I assume that hitting the bullseye is worth 50 points and hitting the ring outside it is worth 25? I don't feel like playing a game right now. Same as before. Bring it on. Did you get that picture of Megan for me? I'm ready to try to beat you at air hockey again. No thanks. Sure. Thank you. I don't think so. Maybe later. I guess so. Got it. I was told I could maybe get a picture of Megan Vargas from you. I can't just play a game with you. I have to beat you. Bring it on. It can wait. See ya. Never mind. I'll see you later. Oops. Forgot what I was going to say. Bye. Because you're in the running for valedictorian, I need to get a close-up of you for the school website, if that's okay. I need to take your picture again. You mind? Really? Oh, yeah. I heard. I like Rachel. Rachel sure doesn't seem to be very popular around here. Why do you say that? Do you think the black cat had anything to do with your wrist? Too bad I can't play, or too bad I'm helping Rachel? Yeah, but I, I don't have time right now. I told Rachel Hubbard I'd help her with her web project. What happened to your wrist? How come you're not working on a paper or studying like everybody else? Oh, then I'll just come back later. Because of Izzy and your boyfriend, Becca Sawyer. I got a note from the black cat. A second note. Why did you send me that note? But before, you said math was. Don't worry about it. It'll be nice just having you as a friend. I knew you were going to say that. And once the layout is perfect, what if I'd rather lay everything out my way? No problem. How am I supposed to get a picture of Megan Vargas, the girl who went home with the allergic reaction? How come you flunked that test? Think the black cat had anything to do with Danielle's leaving? Why'd she leave? Why'd Danielle leave school, do you know? Yeah, you mentioned it. Not yet. For one thing, I need to take a picture of you. I've harassed you enough. Thanks for all the advice. I'll catch you later. I need to get going. I read your blog on the school website. It was okay.
I thought it was awesome. The Missing Book of Stories by Edgar Allan Poe. Do you by any chance know where it is? Is this barrette yours by any chance? Who? I found it outside. Actually, I don't want to say till I'm absolutely sure. You believe that? How did you get to be the leader? What does the chant mean? I'll owe you one. How's that? Nothing. If you don't tell me what I want to know, I'll tell everyone about the society. I... Look, that's not important. I just need to hear that chant you guys repeat, word for word. The reason why is very complicated, but I promise you, whatever you tell me, I won't repeat it to anyone, ever. Seeing as you're the leader of the Blackwood Society, I need you to tell me something. Apparently, someone named Jacob Price tried to make it look like Mel plagiarized her own paper. Isn't Jacob Price your current boyfriend? Or maybe the black cat framed her. What do you think about Mel and that plagiarism charge? Any idea who this somebody might be? So you never hang out with Corrine? Did you see that I beat your double take score? I'd really like to see that second black cat note you got. Is it true you just got a second note from the black cat? May I see it? Do you think she sent the first note too? What's this about your stealing Leela's boyfriend? I thought you were dating Megan Vargas's ex-boyfriend. You didn't have a steady boyfriend already? But he was dating Leela. What do you think your chances are for making valedictorian? None of the other girls deserve it? What if there's a tie for the highest grade point average? On second thought, I'll see you later. I think I'm out of here after all. Bye. Forget I was here. See ya. Any idea who the black cat is? Why the black cat? Why isn't this person sending notes from the black snake or the red spider or something? It isn't? Have you gotten any notes from the black cat? Has anything like this ever happened before? I think the notes are kind of creepy. What's your take on Mel? You don't think she's that smart? Maybe she really doesn't care. I'll do it over. Try, try again. Okay. W-A-C-3-5-N-E-1-3-6. Got it. Thanks. If I help you with your DNA homework, will you give me that computer password? Sounds good. Apparently, I need to get a password from you before I can use the school's computer. Want me to help you? I can't get it from anyone else? I get the impression Rachel's not one of your favorite people. She doesn't have one single friend? She seems nice enough. I need to take your picture again. Sorry. Okay, if I take a close-up of you, Rachel needs it for the school website. Sounds like who you hang out with around here is pretty important. Do you like your roommate? She must have some friends. Why not? Not quite. I'm working on it. Afraid not. Not yet. Not just yet. I think so, yeah. Not yet. Do you have a hard copy? When did you discover that? Because of that picture of you and Corrine? Yep. Here it is. I think so. You tell me. I hear your roommate is Lila Yadev. Do you have a roommate? You don't like Corrine either? You don't like Corrine? I'll know what top-to-bottom order to put them on the column. Then, by seeing how many items were published in any given year, I should be able to figure out what column corresponds to what year. And as a result, I'll know what animal token goes on which column. I noticed that, too. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah? I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to stick the animal tokens I found into those stone columns in the cellar. But how can I tell which token goes where? The puzzle on the wall in Rachel's room. Any hot tips when it comes to solving it? I'm willing to bet something will happen if I press those different parts of the raven in a certain order. But how do I know what that order is? Uh, you mean Van Cliburn? There are notations etched into those piano key lampshades in the foyer. And I've got a book on music theory, but I'm not sure how to put the two together in order to play something on the piano. There are letters and numbers etched into those glass lampshades in the foyer, but I'm not sure how that helps me know what I'm supposed to play on the piano. According to Rita Hollowell's journal, I need to play something on the piano, and I know it probably has something to do with the letters and numbers on those glass lampshades in the foyer. But beyond that, help! According to Rita Hollowell's journal, I need to play something on the piano, but I have no idea what that something is. I need to see if Rachel's math notebook is in the lost and found drawer, but I don't know how to open it. Laying out those photos I took for Rachel is starting to get a little frustrating. Any words of wisdom? When I went to check out Mel's paper on Paper Trail, 
Something happened, and the IP address that showed up got scrambled, and I'm having trouble figuring out what it is. But how do I know which piece of flatware goes with which food? I know manipulating the flatware in that display in the foyer is somehow important, but that's pretty much all I know. I'm not sure how to finish those orthographic views for Corrine. I'm having trouble finishing that DNA model for Izzy. What's the trick to moving the rotating pieces in that cornerstone? I need to climb this oak tree that's outside my dorm window, but I keep falling. Any ideas? There's a room or two around here that I'd very much like to get into, only I don't have a key if you get my drift. How can I beat Leela at air hockey? Hi, this is Ned. If I could pick up, I would, but I can't, so leave a message or call back. Either way, I'll talk to you soon. Hi, this is Ned. If I could pick up, I would, but I can't, so leave a message or call back. Either way, I'll talk to you soon. If you need anything else, just call. Back at you. Talk to you soon. My pleasure. See you, Nan. Whoa. Whoa! 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 <clears throat> Still need a light. Locked. Hmm. This isn't going to work. I can't see a thing. There. All done. Stub. Join me as I learn firsthand which is more dangerous, Mother Nature or Human Nature. In my next adventure, Trail of the Twister. I must also survive the diabolical actions of a teammate bent on sabotage. But once I arrive in Tornado Alley, I quickly discover that a line of storms severe enough to spawn a record-breaking string of twisters is not my biggest problem. So when I'm told a team of tornado chasers down in Oklahoma is having strange, sometimes life-threatening problems with its equipment, and I'm asked to join the team so I can try to figure out why, I immediately say yes. I don't know about you, but tornadoes have always fascinated me. Well, guess I'd better go start meeting people. I've bugged you enough. See ya. I'll let you get back to your paper. I'd better get going. Bye. I'll see you in a bit. What do you mean? Any idea where that book that's missing from the library is? Actually, yeah, I am. I'd like to find it so I can earn some extra credits. Thought it might be yours. Did it go missing before or after notes from the black cat started showing up? Any idea why it would be missing? Where can I find Leela Yadav? I need to take her picture. Great, thanks. Yep, enjoy. You got it. Sure, I guess. For the web page I'm helping Rachel put up, I need to get the essay you wrote that won the Pen to Paper Award. I will. There you go. I can do that. How do I do that? Uh, kind of bad. There's a book in the collection I'd really like to look at. Do you know where I can get the key that opens the special collections cabinet in the library? Did you get the text message with a picture of you and Izzy attached? Any idea who sent it out? It was awesome, all right. But was it real? I need to take a close-up of you for a web page Rachel's working on. That okay? I need to take your picture again. Rachel enlisted me to help her get her web project done. In fact, I need to take your picture for it. You don't like her? Could she be the black cat? I met Leela. She was in the rec room. When did she hurt her wrist? Some really competitive people cheat. Does she? I ran into someone in the hall when I left here. Her name was... Izzy? Sounds like you don't like her. She was actually kind of helpful. I met Mel. She's very... different. Does Mel have any other friends? Mel doesn't seem to like it here very much. Do you dislike Izzy as much as Mel does? Are you a Waverly Legacy like Mel is? Sorry, just go on back to work. Forget it. I'm out of here. See ya. Never mind. I'll see you later. Yeah? I'm sorry, but I, I'd rather not talk about him right now, okay? I took my page down because, for personal reasons, where's that cello music coming from? Has she gotten a black cat note? Does she ever stop playing? What about the second note? When she got this, how did she react? Have you ever gotten one of these black cat notes? No kidding. May I see it? Really? Where did you find it? What are you working on? You look so busy. Wait a minute. You mean the only girls to get notes from this black cat person are girls who are in the running to be valedictorian? The curse? Uh, all my stuff's being shipped from France. Lyon. It'll be here in a couple of days. But please, go on. Sorry, I've been a little busy. Oops, I forgot. I think so. I've been too busy with other stuff. I'm still working on it. Is that a big deal? 
You looked me up online? You don't mind having a roommate? Thanks. Sorry to barge in and bug you like this. You look really busy. I was told you could help me, you know, get oriented. What happened to her? Which one is my bed? There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. I'm student body president, which means when it comes to the lay of the land, I got the best map. See ya. There you go. Look, my room's on the other side of the study hall, but lately I've been spending most of my time in the library. So come talk to me. This way you'll be able to get texted and keep up on all the breaking news. Yeah, so I can set you up on the local network. It'll just take a second. Shueta lor. Let me have your cell phone. Where are you from? Just kidding. Red hair looks really good on some people. I'm Izzy Romero. Whoa, watch it. Oh, your hair's on fire. No wonder you're in a hurry.